All right, this saw is inspired by Roland from Alone Season 7, the winner. One of his uh, 10 items was uh, a crosscut saw, like a two man crosscut saw that he kind of cut down, kind of into a one man. I always thought it was awesome. And you could cut some big logs with it, and I figured I'd go for it. And this is a, a bath of a Vapo Rust, I think is what it's called. I did it for like two days. And I hit it with the wire brush. Here I did my best to file it. I know I probably should have had like a jointer, like a raker, raker gauge, and all that stuff, but I just kind of winged it. Here I just pounded it to set the teeth. All right, I got the blade cleaned up and now I'm wrapping these handles up uh, with some leather. I kind of put a little oil in there and I just kind of want to get it real tight. And it should all shrink up on there pretty good. And then here I'm making a, a template for the leather sheath. I really thought it was important to make a, a paper starter just in case since that leather is not cheap. And here I'm starting with the, the strap. Uh, it's basically being built like a belt or how I would assume you would build a belt a little bit differently. But I got most of this hardware on Amazon or eBay. This step's pretty important, uh, like brandishing the edges gets it real like, I don't know, it just kind of finishes it off, I guess, and rounds it over, kind of seals the grain. I wasn't planning on stitching this, but after doing some reading and some research, uh, everyone recommended to stitch belts. Uh, it just kind of helps with keeping them from getting warped and getting all stretched out. And I guess it kind of it holds the load better. Here's a big old piece of leather. I forget what it was, it was thick. Um, really hard to bend, really hard to get into shape, but I cut grooves and I clamped it down, I got it wet, and I, I mean, it took me a couple days <laughs> to get it, but I got it to mold and shape to how I want it to, to work for me. That's the thing with leather is you just gotta keep working it and it'll, it'll give. to be removable uh, pretty easily just in case I don't know that leather broke or something so these are just kind of screw on rivet kind of deals um, so if that ever breaks I can swap it out pretty easily I guess I lost the footage of adding these buttons but I had some buttons and then I think I added even more buttons at the end but uh, I was gonna put buttons here but I just kind of thought this leather looked cooler and it kind of served the same purpose. And it 
was less things to really break, so I just kind of went with it. So there it is, I think I added more buttons. Now I'm just gonna give it one final coat of some paste wax. I think I gave it a couple coats of mink oil and definitely a few coats off camera of this paste wax. It's really to waterproof everything. I put on everything, the blade, the handles, everything. Um, that blade soaked in oil too for a long time.